Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be taking a brief look at the pen tool and that is this tool over here. So if you left click and hold, you'll see you get a variety of different options and we're going to start by clicking on the pen tool itself. And you can left click anywhere on the artboard and you'll see it wants to draw a straight line and then you can left click and effectively it's a dot to dot and you can keep doing this all the way back around to the beginning and you'll see a little circle appear next to the icon and that is indicating that by clicking this you will complete your shape. Okay, so there we go, we've created a uh, rather rubbish shape. Now let's get rid of that and start again. So if we left click again and instead of just single clicking we're going to left click and hold it and you'll see that it will let you drag out a curve. Okay, so you can let that go and then you'll see it wants to automatically follow up with a nice smooth curve and that curve continues through all three of these points nice and smoothly. Okay, so we can do that. And then we're back to the beginning. So it will start off with a straight one or we can left click hold it and draw another curve. But what if we want to draw one curve and then stop and start with a straight point again. So we don't want this curve that it's trying to force me to create here. What we do is we hold down the Alt key and we just left click on this anchor point. Okay, and that effectively cuts it short and allows you to start again with a straight point. So then you can have a mixture of straight points. You can throw in a curve, another curve, another curve, cut it with the Alt key and then do a few straight ones. And again, with the little circle, you can just join that up to make a complete shape. Okay, so what if you've already created your shape and you want to add some anchor points in there or remove anchor points for that matter? Well, you can select your shape, go over here and left click and hold until you get this menu pop up. And then you can go to add anchor point tool. And what it'll let you do is if you click along any path line, it will let you add anchor points. So once you've added these, you can then go to the direct selection tool up here and it will let you click on those, select them, and then you can pull them out and you can edit them just like you would any of the other anchor points. Conversely, if you do the same again, but select the delete anchor point tool, you can click on any of the anchor points and delete them. And every time you delete one, it will automatically join the gap up for you. And the last tool we're going to look at is the anchor point tool here itself. Now you can use this to convert a straight curve into a straight curve. That's not even a real thing. <laughs> a straight line into a curve and vice versa. So if I take a curved one here, so it's got a curve either side, click that and it turns it into a straight one. And there's lots of different options up here that you can have a play around with. And primarily you're going to use the pen tool to create uh, different shapes. And then you can, so once if I draw a shape here like this, I'll make another very, very, very pretty shape. You'll see that I've got the stroke here set to black, which is the outline, and then the fill is white. So once I've made a complete shape and I've joined it up, I can select this shape and then I can go and I can color the stroke or the outline. I can increase the weight and then I can also go and adjust the fill as well. And if in Adobe Illustrator like myself, you create logos or icons or anything that involves creating vector shapes, then learning the pen tool is absolutely essential. I really, really recommend it. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Leave a little thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.